Okay, let's start out with a few that I know for sure I'm going to be keeping. So this is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is the loose version. And where are, here's my press version. This is my holy grail powder for oily skin. So this one is called Perfect Finish HD Powder. This one is just called High Definition Powder. I think they're about the same product, but this one's pressed and this one's loose. Like to me, they kind of act the same. I love this. This is actually my second one of this. So good. So this is staying for sure. This one, um, you know, it's very messy. It goes everywhere. This is in my bought it, forgot it for this month, but I do feel like this is something I can definitely use up. So I'm going to keep it. Um, and then this is the under eye setting powder. This is really good. And again, I think I can use it up, but it's so messy. I actually took the sifter out because it's just so tiny. You can't even get a brush in it. And for the price, even though it's affordable because it's e.l.f., you get so little product in here that I feel like you're still paying kind of a lot for what you get. Um, but I'll definitely use that up for sure. This one is in my makeup use up this year. That's why it has this little thing on it. This little emoji sticker. Same with this one. Little emoji sticker. Um, this is the MAC medium. MAC mineralized skin finish in medium. Um, I'm like halfway done that. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like flat on top. Really like this a lot. And then this is so good if you have oily skin, the stay matte but not flat in creamy natural. And I just hit pan on it yesterday. It's actually really easy to use up though because it's very soft and a lot of product comes up when you use it. But love these, so those are staying. Same with this, Super Stay Better Skin. I'm sure I can use this up, even though it's not in a project. I'm sure I can use it up by the end of the year because I have a good dip going in this. And I use this on days that I don't wear any foundation, but I just want to cover it a little tiny bit of coverage. And then I also use this kind of like throughout the day if I want to repowder my, myself when I'm out. Really good. This I'm gonna give away. I have not been able to get this to work for me. I know a lot of people love it. This is Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. People talk about this like it's the same as the Hourglass powders, but to me, this does nothing for me except add another layer of powder, powder so I'm gonna get rid of that for sure. Um, oh boy, this is tough, because I know a lot of this I'm gonna keep. This one is the new Kat Von D one. I felt like this made me cakey, but I really, I want to try this out again. I, I did try it out for a long time. Like I used it for a good couple weeks before I put it away and I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. So I'm going to keep that, give that more tries. The Laura Mercier powder, I, it's not my favorite, but I feel like again, it's been so long since I used this that I need to test it some more and remember like if I like it or not. Um, Cody Airspun powder, this is Holy Grail. I'm going to keep this. This is not bad, but that's kind of gross. That, you know like when they put a sticker on it and it never fully comes off? That's what that is. This is the CoverGirl, just the clean the pressed powder. Like this is the one everybody gets in high school. <laughs> um, and I bought this because of my, how I did my makeup in high school video. But you know what? It's not the best. Somebody else will be able to use that up. I have enough that I need to use up. This one is so tough for me. This is the shaping, the shaping powder from MAC in Emphasize that Jaclyn Hill always talked about. And to me, it doesn't do much. Like it's supposed to brighten, but I don't feel like it does. I'm gonna give this away. I feel really bad at saying that because this is expensive. Like this was like 20 something dollars. Um, obviously I'm gonna keep the Z palette, but yeah, it just, I've tried it so many times. It doesn't work for me. This one, I have not really tested very much. The NYC. Oh, that's smooth. Wow. Shocked. Okay. See, another one I feel like I need to test. That is so soft when I touched it. Wow. Um, it has a little bit of color to it too. I need to test this more. This is not good. The hard candy. Fast and Fabulous Translucent, Translucent Finishing Powder. This was like cakey AF, I don't like that. Ben Nye Banana Powder is too yellow for me, that's gonna go. These are all Ben Nye samples I got. Um, oh shoot, there are two more powders in my everyday 
I have one of these in another shade there, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep anyway. And then a little teensy tiny little sample from Cover FX, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep. So, okay, I don't feel so bad. This one's like practically orange. This is in the shade Beige Suede. And then this one is Buff. I don't feel like this is something I would use, so I'll give this one away too. And then this one here is the super white, which sounds weird, like it is a white powder. Um, to me, this does more to brighten than that MAC Emphasize does. Um, this I bought because of Sam Sherman. Like, look at how white that is. Like, she uses this under her eye to brighten it, and I wouldn't do that in normal life, but if you're going to be filming something and you want a bright under eye, it looks good in video. So I'm going to keep that, even though there's no way in my life I'll ever use this much up. But I'm going to keep it just for every once in a while when I need to do that. I don't do that very often, but sometimes I do. Um, RCMA No Color Powder. Like, this is like half done. I love this so much. Same with this, the NARS uh, Translucent Crystal. This, though, I think is not great for on camera like it has flashback it, it can make you look very white under your eyes but in real life it's nice so gonna keep that it's good for baking too this is one of those products that I don't like but I, I'm just gonna try to use it up because it does has it does have SPF 50 in it and for like repatterning during the day that's a really good thing but for me it makes me kind of cakey um the it cosmetics your skin but better CC airbrush perfecting powder man this was ever expensive i wouldn't recommend this unless i don't know maybe on certain skin types it would work but it's just like it does cake me up and there's so many other things that i think are cheaper better alternatives but i do like i do think i can use it up so i'm gonna keep it um this is so good if you have oily skin the innisfree no sebum mineral powder this is a korean brand and that's like just like a translucent powder, but it's so good, and especially in the summertime when it's really hard for us oily girls. So I use it a lot in the summer. This is, I bought this at the Face Shop, which in my mall went out of business. Um, yeah, the Face Shop Angel Skin Loose Powder. I've never used this, you guys. Actually, that's a lie. I've used it like twice when I first got it. It comes with a powder puff, and then it has this powder inside it. Um, why is there hair in there that's so gross yeah I if I haven't used it in like 18 months I'm not gonna start so I will give that away um it's so pretty though isn't it that packaging it's like almost holographic so pretty the Too Faced cocoa powder foundation in the shade light not my favorite it is smooth I used to try to use this during the day like if I needed to repowder but uh it does smell like chocolate too. Okay, if you hear any noise, somebody making coffee in the other room. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna just give this away because it's not my favorite. And like, yes, I can use up stuff, but I can't use up, like powder's hard to use up. So I'm not gonna use up a whole bunch of stuff that I think is just okay. So I'll give that away. This I do not like at all, the Makeup Forever HD powder. And it's only because the packaging is so horrible. So it's got one of these little bouncy things, but then this little thing here presses down into there. So it's not like you can even shake stuff into the cap. Um, it's just really hard to get stuff out. I could cut this out, but again, I have enough like loose translucent powders. I don't need to do that. So I'll just give that away. Um, Ribbon Stain Mat is okay, but see, mine started developing hard pan very quickly. And that's the only reason that I'm not a big fan of this. I know a lot of people like it, um, but for me, I just have found better things. So I'm just gonna give that away too. This one, I feel like I need to test more. This is the Fit Me from Maybelline. Um, I didn't even realize it had a little puff in there. Well, I must've known, cause I obviously used it. Anyway, so yeah, it feels okay. I need, I need to test this some more, so I'll keep that for now. And then this, it's kind of more of an illuminating powder from Milani, but I put it in here because a light dusting of it on me, um, like see, a heavy swatch, you could tell. There's no way that doesn't, oops, sorry. There's no way that doesn't match me at all. But a, like a light dusting of this, 
especially in the summertime, can look really pretty. So this is Hermosa Rose Illuminating Face Powder. So I'm gonna keep this just for every once in a while, but it's definitely not a daily thing. That's quite a bit I'm getting rid of, actually. Um, and then, so this is just my collection stuff, and then all of this, like seven, seven, six products. These six products here are things that are gonna go in like my everyday spot. So I feel really good about the way that looks now. That is a load off of me. Um, so I keep saying so like a million times at the end of these videos. I don't know why. So <laughs> um, if you're new here, welcome. I have a whole like playlist of all of my declutters where I've decluttered probably about 50% of my collection at this point and so you can go watch those if you like and then I also will be doing more declutters So subscribe if you're into that kind of thing and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you around. Bye guys